Hey, hey, hey. I really hope that you all are having a good day. So, the reason why I'm on is, of course, the Lord needed me to come on and share this with you all. So, of course, as you know, I have it written down. So, just be patient with me as I begin to go through it. And so, today the Lord is saying um, that he is sending out instructions unto the households that must be obeyed obedience is the main key for your survival and what's to come hear my voice says god for he is speaking follow his instructions god is sending some of us into periods of rest rest says the lord it is a very it is very vital that you rest for there are certain things that you will have to be alert for in the days to come. He says, jealousy will arise and some shall even begin to form hatred against you. But the Lord says that he is your stay and your support. Some may come at you harshly to try to get you, uh, to try to force you to Tell them something that you don't even fully understand as to the certain actions that God is causing you to take and to follow through in your life on today. But God says, do not explain yourself for you answer to me, says the Lord, not unto man. I am the way, the truth and the life. There is no other way to survive the next level of what is to come but through me says the lord so it's really what is that on my forehead it's really really vital and very very important that we begin to understand it's it's it's, it's still going to be very hard to understand and grasp what god is getting ready to do but he needs you to know that a lot of your concerns are getting ready to be answered on today. A lot of things that you are worried about, God has already taken care of. God loves you. He sees you. He hears you. Trust him. Trust the process. God is certainly going before us and, and preparing our lives for the purposes that he is calling us to. You will see goodness in the land of the living do not allow the enemy to tell you otherwise god is causing blessings to come down in the lives of his people you will be prepared for the resting uh that he is describing here it's like something is getting ready to take place in the earth and god's going to make sure that you have the means to be able to stock up and to get your houses uh, prepare for what is to come. It's very important that love is in your household because love is what's going to keep you strong and to keep things that the certain things that the enemy is going to be trying to push through in your households. But as long as love is there and it's not taken away, uh, it starts with the husband and the wife. The children are watching you in your home. You know, you got to keep that love flowing. Don't let them see, you know, uh, you arguing and hatred and all of these things that are not good. Uh, on today and in the sight of the Lord, because there are some things that God really, really, really is going to need us to be alert to, prepared for, and ready for. And the instruction that He is sending out, it will need to be followed unto the T, because that is the key also to your blessing. The blessing that He is getting ready to rain down in your life, obedience will will lead you to it. If you go against what God is telling you and decide to do what you want to do, you will reap the benefits of whatever God chooses to do unto your household for disobedience. So just know that the worries that you are feeling, anything that you're, you're, you're concerned with and that's causing you to fall into depression, those are attacks from the enemy. His job is to make you feel like God has forgotten you. God has not forgotten you. God has not forsaken you. He is a God of his word. His word is true. He loves you. I don't care how far you have gotten out. If you repent today and mean it from your heart, I'm not saying that everything is going to you know, get back together uh, right instantly as soon as you do that, there is still a process, especially depending on whatever it is that you have done, you know, how far you've, you've uh, turned things 
into a certain direction that God didn't plan for. So now he's got to take you another way around. But he does that because he chastises, not only because he chastises those that he loves, but because when he pulls you out of certain things, he needs you to understand that that's not a path that you can take anymore. Just like when the children of, of, of uh, Israel were in the wilderness, in those wilderness states, certain things had to fall off of them. Their mindsets, they had to come to know who God is. You will come to know who God is in this time. You will know his voice and you will follow when he speaks. There will be no second guessing. You won't have to run to anybody. Did God say this? Did God? He will confirm his word in your life and you will know that God is speaking directly to you in this time. Do not allow spouses, children, anybody to direct your paths off of what God has instructed and put in your heart to do. Stick to the path because you don't want to end up reaping any more hurt, pain. Most of us have been through enough already. Enough is enough. It is time to put the enemy to open shame in our lives by showing him that we can be obedient and come into full alignment with God's purposes and his will for our life. We are putting down self and picking up what God has ordered us to grab and take hold of on today. Uh, most of us are getting ready to be planted, I say again, into a new atmosphere, into a new area. With some of us, that change has to take place uh, spiritually within before it takes place with you being planted, you know, in the natural. Like there is a, a, a land just for you that God has for you, a home where you can be planted down and uprooted no more. But a lot of us we have to go through the process of allowing God to bring on the change from within because it's lessons that we need to learn. Certain things that we have to go through to gain understanding for where God is taking us. You know, certain moves that we've made over and over in life, a lot of us still don't get it. I've been that person. And I thank God for every day that he took me through more pain to push me into what he needed me to gain. I thank him for it every day because I now live a life. Not only I don't just talk it, I walk it. And it's so many people out here that's talking about having a good life, a good relationship with God. And it ain't that, but this the real deal over here. When we talk to y'all about what God has been doing and setting free in our lives it is the truth it's every bit of the truth we would be nothing outside of him and we suffered we went through homeless states and my husband has told y'all stories about how you know uh we were separated uh my family even though me and my husband was married they still did not accept uh my husband my husband lived outside in abandoned houses they took in me and the children but they would not take him in you know and i tell you all you know it was one of the most hurtful things but when you have kids sometimes you have to go and live in places that you don't want to live until god brings you out you know um and so we were separated for long periods of time uh months one time for a whole year, you know, and I think that God did that specifically because he didn't want us to get comfortable into the places where he had allowed us to enter in. It was a short term thing. So while my husband was out homeless, that motivated him, you know, to go to the library, fill out applications, push, push, push until he got back to work. And the way that God does things in our relationship, you know, in our marriage is, and that helps to keep our love strong, too, because, you know, he shows us that without each other, we're weak. But with each other, we are strong. God is our strength and he strengthens our bond as long, you know, with us having love for one another. Then we are able to prosper and wickedness that tries to form against us. 
our love for one another, it breaks the bonds. It breaks the chains. It keeps us prospering in Jesus' mighty name. And I am just grateful to share that with you all today. And I pray that, you know, it blesses you all to know how important it is to have love for one another. Your children are watching you, you know, um, <clears throat> you want them to be able to have love for one another and love for others as well and to know how to treat people. It is love that breaks the yokes. Without love, we have nothing. And it's important for you to know how much God loves you because as you begin to open your eyes and see his love for you, it'll cause you to want to fight to do better because you know, you know, God, if God loved me I, after everything I've done, I know I got to fight, you know, 10 times harder to be able to live the life he's desiring for me to live. You know, that's very important to, to, to include love in everything that you do. Let it be done from your heart, you know, a pure heart, not because people uh, are, I'm standing here telling you that love needs to be included in your household and in your marriages to keep the yokes, you know, broken in your life, but because it's the right thing to do. And God instructs us that. You know, in the word, love is very, 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 very vital and important. Um, but like I said, don't let, you know, your love for your husband be greater than that which you have for God. You know, because sometimes you can get to a point where you, you idolize your husband or you idolize your man. I mean, your wife and you put God on the back burner. God's word also says that he is a jealous God and you got to know when to separate, you know, certain things that God is needing for you to separate. So if God is telling you, hey, look, I need you to do this here. Make sure your household knows that this has to be done. Whatever the instruction is, your husband may come to you or your wife may come to you and say, baby, I ain't doing that. I don't, the Lord ain't tell you that, this and that. You better go on ahead and do what God instructing you to do, you know. <laughs> tell, like I, I, tell, I tell my husband, I say, y'all, uh, that's when I separate the love thing. I love you, but I fear God. If God tell me, pack up and let's go, I'm gone. I ain't holding on to nothing. Whatever God say do, it's done. I don't play with him when it comes to that because I didn't learn my lesson. I done been beat, whipped, spanked, yanked every which way, pulled here, pulled there, living here, living there, up here, down there. I've experienced it all. Ain't nobody going to tell me to do what? Get on with that. God told me. You can get on with that. Miss me with that one. I'm going to follow what the Lord say. Any day. And I can tell y'all some stories as to when he, you know, dealt with me up in dreams and stuff. And, ooh, you know, telling me, you know, when I did do things in the past, you know, you will learn to obey me. You will learn to trust me. And you feeling like, electricity shocking throughout your body because he's trying to get you to understand. My oldest son, he tells me um, how he'll be asleep. And, you know, the last dream he had, you know, because we had been talking to, to Jaheem about, you know, lying and the benefits of telling the truth. And the last dream he had, uh, he said that God had spoke to him in that dream. And he said he felt the hand of the Lord smack him. And he said, when, when it happened, you know, he said it thundered, it roared throughout his body. And then he said, God spoke to him in a dream and told him, you know, uh, what did he say? Uh, it's time to, to get right. That's what he said. He said, he told him in a dream, it's time to get right. And he said when he woke up from that dream, the vibrations of God's voice was still trembling throughout his body. And I was telling him, you know, Jaheem, yeah, you know, for the Lord to come into your dream and tell you, you know, personally, that it's time to get right. You know, the things that you're doing in your life, you have to learn to stop doing it and be obedient and come in alignment and in order with what God has for you. See, a lot of these children out here today, they think because they kids, you know, they got time to get it right. And like I explained to mine, you ain't got time for nothing. I tell them, just like my mama used to tell me, you can walk out, you can take one footstep out that door and die. A bullet can hit you. You can leave here any day, anytime. I said, nobody's promised tomorrow. I say, not even me. 
I said, that's why it's very important, you know, to make sure that you live in your life right and in obedience to the will of our Father for your life. Don't fight the process. Don't kick against the prick. You will not win that battle. So I know I'm yapping y'all ears out. I'm going to let you go. Um, but it's very important that, you know, this message is heated and you do what God is instructing to be done here on today. And remember, it's very important to always be obedient to what God is instructing the household to do, because we know that there are ways that seem right unto us. But we also know, just like his word says, that those paths lead to death. They lead to nothing, you know. It causes things to sprout out in our lives that is not of the will of God. And then when we get so far off, you know, it's like he put in my heart many years ago. And I experienced that, you know, God would say that he was going to do something and he would give me plain, clear instruction of what I was supposed to do. I would do what I wanted to do. Right. And I'm telling you, just like I had to learn, you don't know how long it's going to take before that time comes around and the Lord instructs you to do the next thing. You know, you don't know how long it's going to take for you to get that, that chance again. So learn from my mistakes. Do it the first time the way that God wants you to do it. It'll save you a lot of heartache. And I'm telling you, you just feel awesome. You feel amazing because you've obeyed what God told you to do. And it just, it's, it's a great feeling, you know, and I couldn't be happier. I couldn't, I, I couldn't ask for more, you know, cause I feel like God has just given me so much, but you know, as long as I'm in his will, that's enough for me. That is enough for me. So anyway, enough yapping, uh, <laughs> You all be blessed and I love you all so much. And I just pray that this word reaches who is meant for in Jesus mighty name. You all be blessed. Love you. Amen. Mm -hmm.